Okay, this is the uh, video for using databases for the staff group. First, we'll start with the resident database. And I want to talk a little bit about the initial setup of your resident portal, resident database, and the different types of residents that are in your database. Over here are all your databases. Here's the one for residents. So, before we get started with it, we want to explain a little bit about how you can originally set up the database. There's a couple of different ways. Now, if you have given Cytelligence or the resident portal, if you've given us all of your residents' names, and if they have an email address, their email address, and uh, if you have their date of birth, great. If not, it's not a big deal. But if all we need is your name of your first and last name of your residents and their email address if they have one. If they already have an email address, you're going to want to have those folks with email addresses in the Indie resident group. Now, again, the difference between residents and Indie residents is this. Residents in the resident group more than likely rarely use the computer. They might need a little bit of help. And in order to access their mail, and in order to access everything in their quote-unquote private pages, they don't need to have any email address whatsoever. So that's kind of the benefit for the residents is they don't need an email address. They're using a community community computer, and they're sharing, uh, you know, one computer. So they don't need an email address, although they can use mail. Now, people in the indie resident group are maybe those folks who are in, in an independent resident living setting, and they already have an email address, and maybe they have a computer in their uh, in their condominium or their apartment or their cottage or whatever. So those are the two different main types of residents. We also have another type of quote unquote resident, which would be home care. So if your company deals in home care, then uh, you would put, that we call it a resident, but you would put that person in the home care uh, category. Again, if you just give us a list of all your residents, first name, last name, and if they have an email address, we will put those with an email address in the independent resident group for you. We'll put everybody else in the resident group for you. We will assign them a username and password. So to log on to private pages as a resident is nine times out of ten going to be their first initial last name. And that's how they get to their private pages from the uh, main home page. And if they're an independent resident and they're logging in from their cottage or their apartment, they're going to use the email address that they've given you and their password is going to be their first initial, and their last name. I hope that makes sense. As far as folks in the home care uh, category, it's going to be their email address and their first initial and last name. 